my name is Mary T. Jenkins. In 2001, I presented neurologically with symptoms of Wilson's disease. Dr. Almatin, a pediatric neurologist, was the only doctor that knew how to diagnose, treat, and help the nine-year-old girl who was falling down all the time, drooling, and having seizures. Admitted to the University of Michigan, I was there for two months. Now, at the age of 22, I am a happy, healthy college student with great copper levels and am continuing this fight for all. Mary to Jenkins, Seattle, Washington. What were the first thoughts that came to your mind when they said, when they came back with the blood result and said, I need to go in the sick kids right away? Oh, I was very, very scared very worried because they said you need to come to the emergency room. As this guy who was bopping around on stage and moving around and singing and playing with his guitar and uh, you know just very animated and you weren't that anymore you were you know you were slow and deliberate in your movements and uh, something just seemed wrong. When I look at the school performance, I feel a little embarrassed because I notice that I'm not very moving very well and um, i not really speaking very well either and it's very unnoticeable. I, this with my right hand, I, can, I can't really do that properly with my left hand. It's, I have to do it really slowly. When I play the guitar, I have to work on spreading my fingers out more so I can Get them back to the way they used to be. Hi, my name is Marianne Collins and this is my 26-year-old son, Alex. Up until August of 2010, Alex was a normal college student, very active in life. He played soccer, he was in the band and Boy Scouts, he hung out with his friends and drove his car. Prior to his diagnosis, he had about six to nine months of neurological issues while he ate, he coughed and drooled, he was clumsy, and he had an abnormal gait. Go Alex, go! Go Alex, go! Today, he lives at home with me and his papa, and we take care of his every need. He can feed himself, but he does have a feeding tube. He has to be dressed, bathed, and put to bed. We have to get him up. He cannot walk or talk, although with intense physical therapy, he is able to walk about 80 feet with a walker. Now, fix your head and your balance will get better. Yep. There you go. Good. My hope for this video is that it will increase awareness for Wilson's disease. We can raise funds for earlier detection and better medications for a prolonged and normal life. Thank you. I'm David Watson and I had a very normal childhood growing up. I played a lot of sports and I excelled very much at school. However, in the eighth grade I got sick and was ultimately diagnosed with Wilson's disease. I was put on the liver transplant list, and my grades at that time were not very good. However, through the course of treatment over the years, my grades improved every year in high school, and I began to make more of a complete recovery. Today, I'm married to a beautiful wife. We have two great kids, twins on the way, and I'm an entrepreneur and own two businesses.
Chris, and we are the Simopoulos family. This is my wife, Lisa, my oldest son, Nicholas, and my twin boys, Zach and Joe. In December of 2012, I was hospitalized and almost died with liver and bone marrow failure. Six months later, I was diagnosed with liver cirrhosis from Wilson's disease. We were diagnosed with Wilson's disease shortly after and had low-grade hepatitis at the time of diagnosis. We were put on medication and we've been responding well to the treatment ever since. When my husband and I attended the Wilson's conference in September of 2014, we felt compelled as a family to create something that would unite the Wilson's community in this difficult and oftentimes isolating disease. We decided the best way to do this is to create the first nationwide Wilson's Disease Walk. With the help of the WDA, we are excited to announce the Big Wow. This is an opportunity for Wilson's patients and their families and friends to come together on a single day this fall in North America and walk in support of Wilson's disease. It's a simple concept. Just go online at www thewilsonsbigwow.com and register at a city near you. If there is not a city near you, you can still participate by registering and having your own walk with your friends and family. Just go online and register as an individual. The registration fee is $25. As a participant, you will receive a Big Wow shirt. The Big Wow shirt is nice and athletic and you will want to wear it. All proceeds are going to go to the WDA to help fund education and research for Wilson's disease. Together, we are a powerful voice.